is memoir the story of my life? And um, the short answer is uh, no, it's not, <laughs> which may surprise you, but um, it's not that. But uh, autobiography, uh, just to get clear, so autobiography or memoirs with an S, if you're famous, so politicians often write their memoirs or Hollywood stars or something. Autobiography and memoirs are the story of a life. So they tend to try to tell the whole thing all, you know, often it starts in with parents or even grandparents and birth accomplishments, relationships and so on all the way up. Um, but by con and that's a wonderful pursuit, but it's a very different thing. So when we're trying to tell the story of our whole life, it tends um, not to be interesting to other people unless you're famous or unless you know that person or unless you are the writer. So which is why um, a lot of these sort of genealogical um, endeavors tend well not to be very interesting <laughs> reading. Um, but uh, memoir by contrast, um, the idea of memoir is that rather than the story of a life, it is the story from a life. So it is a very narrowly focused aspect of life that the writer chooses to focus on. And the reason that then becomes of interest to people, ideally when it's done well, is that when we narrow the focus, when we choose one, so say one relationship, one period of time, one location, one journey, one aspect of a very complex life, when we choose to focus on that one thing, we suddenly have the opportunity to go very deeply. And in plumbing the depth of that story, what we're looking for is meaning. We're looking for not just what happened, but why what happened mattered is what I always say to people. But we, we are also, we're doing more than that because um, we're also looking for a shift of some kind. Memoir very often charts a transformation or a journey from A to B. Now it may be a literal journey in the case of travel writing, but ideally it's more than just A to B because A to B can still be a series of things that happened. But what makes memoir interesting and what the quest really is, is, big, is charting the story from one state of being or one perspective or one manner of seeing a situation and arriving over the course of the telling of the story, arriving at a new state of being or perspective or way of understanding this situation, this aspect of life. And so, so memoir does those two things. Well, it does multiple things, but for the purposes of this video, let's just talk about two of them. One, it chooses a very narrow focus, which mm, can be comforting, um, to both the writer and the reader because the story is contained. It's not the wilderness of someone's life and every interesting thing that happened to them. No, it has a very distinct and clear focus and direction and ultimately purpose and meaning. And it's also helpful to the writer because it is very easy, let me warn you, to get lost in the wilderness of your life when you are trying to write about the whole thing. And the difficult question in memoir is not what to write about. By the time we get to the point in our lives when we're interested in writing about them, in exploring them, in understanding them, we tend to have lived very rich lives, full of possible chapters and episodes and innumerable uh, scenes and you know, relationships and so on. And it can become very overwhelming very quickly. And, um, and by choosing to focus on one aspect of life, as a writer, it is a much, much simpler task. Now, it's not necessarily easy, but it is simpler than trying to go everywhere. And so the question is not, what should I write about? But what not to write about? What to leave out? So that this focus can be honed, so that you can plumb the depths of this story, so that the central story can emerge.
which it can't do when we're trying to tell it all, when we're trying to include it all. And most people, sadly, myself included, try to try to tell too much, try to go to too many places. This was one mistake that I made catastrophically earlier in my writing life. And I, well, like many people, I was wedded to so many different stories. I wanted to include them all somehow. And the book, like so many attempts of books that I've seen um, people bring to the table over the years, when we try to do too much, we end up, sadly, often, doing nothing. And so so you can think of that honing the focus as being a gift to yourself, but also thinking of, thinking of it as an essential part of memoir writing. 